Hello and welcome to my channel, Perfect Pastimes. My name's Amanda, my friends call me Ammo. I live in the south of England in Dorset with my husband and my three dogs. And yes, as usual, Willow is under my desk and making strange noises. It's not me. Today is the 31st of March. And if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter. If you don't, happy bank holiday weekend in the UK. I have um, a few nitty whips. As you can see, I am wearing my love note. I finished it and I'm over the moon with it. I'll just stand up so you can see. I did the German short rows in the back and I made it slightly longer than the pattern. I think my side seam total is about 17 inches, 16 or 17 inches. And I decided on the just below elbow length. Another thing I changed was the amount of ribbing. I didn't like the skimpy half inch ribbing. Um, I, I had to make a few less decreases in the pattern I asked for. But um, I like the fit of it now. And again, like I said, it's, it's a fair bit deeper, as is the hem and the neckline. I um, I just didn't like the skimpy, tiny little ribs that it did, and they were stretched out. So I took less decreases so that it wasn't quite so stretched out and added a few more rows. And I'm really pleased with that. Um, somebody asked me, uh, I think it was in the last episode, about the two shawls I have behind me. And they are here because this is my craft room. And as you can see, it's an old conservatory and I get cold drop down on the back of my shoulders, well, especially when I've got my head down and I'm sewing or busy or whatever. So I made these to put across my shoulders when it's chilly. Um, this one is the Stephen West uh, colonnade shawl. And it goes across and it has a button fixture at the front, which you can have in any direction really. It does have shaped shoulders, as you can see. And sometimes that's just enough. The yarn, uh, can I remember? I think it's an Aran, probably Rico Fashion or Rowan Felted Tweed. I can't quite remember which it is. It was a leftover from a sweater I knitted my son. Um, nice flex in it it's a lovely little pattern and it's not massive i am i'm not a huge fan of stephen west i think i admire his skill i admire his ability to um make all these weird and wonderful patterns but the weird and wonderful is not me and i haven't done a knit along with him or a crochet along with him simply because i don't think i could bear the what's coming next um they're, they're a bit too out there for me <laughs> i'm afraid the second shawl is the uh forest path hat excuse me i'm trying to read from my note forest path hat by patricia and fortune i've made it in rowan moordale double knit in the color tie which is a wool and alpaca mix and this is 250 grams of yarn it's got a bit of a, a bubble there because it sits on the back of my chair. Can you see the pattern? I like little forest trees. And this is a, a lovely big size to wrap round anyway on the shoulders. And style it how you like really. I really, really enjoyed making this one. Um, the monotony of the uh, stocking stitch is broken up by garter stitch. 
and it has a, a frilly little edge with picots. See? There we go. Um, oh, sort my hair up. I look windswept and interesting because I've just been out and done all the bird seed feeders. Another finish I did quite quickly this week is the plant pot up here. Now, you know, I like covering my plant pots. I usually did fabric, but this time I just did a crochet one. This is some crochet cotton I had left over from making um, some shopping bags and things some time ago. It's literally, I think it was uh, six in a ring, one, two, three, four, five, six, or eight, eight double crochets in a ring, and then two double crochets in each double crochet, and then a double crochet, two double crochet in the next round, all English. And then to turn the corner, I back looped only, and then just carried going straight up. And, um, it makes the right shape. Got the waterproof pot on the inside. And it just makes a different cover. So I was pleased with that. Um, works in progress. I have uh, Clarice next to me who will now demonstrate the Mjöki, as that's getting quite big now for holding in the hand. This is the front. I've made the divide and I hope you can see. I can't really lift Clarice up. She's too... I'm just going to tilt you a little. There you go. There's the divide on the hem. I showed you when I was here last time is my little sea glass progress keeper from Lily and the Bee. So I went down to the divide, carried on with the rib down the side. I've started the ribbing at the bottom and I need another, um, I think it's another inch on the bottom. As you can see, it's quite a tunic length. And then we go back inside here, pick up more stitches along the back and knit down the front. And then I'll have the sleeves to do and the neck. I think on this one, I will be doing full length sleeves as it's a tunic. It's going to be one of those nice throw ons. I, um, I tried it on the other day and it made me smile. It was so nice. I was so happy. So that one's coming along quite nicely. Nice evening knit. I did get on quite a bit with my crochet mini advents. I think last time I showed you I just finished the dark maroon red so I've done a few more a couple more colours and like a mocha coffee and a sagey green grey. It's growing quite nicely. Again, the, the minis are um, sock minis, merino and nylon, held double with a, a pure merino, white or cream off white. And then the white stripes are the pure merino cream held with a, a mystery uh, cream four ply I have to make a double knit and I think it makes a nice unifying texture. Um, I think I spoke about it two episodes ago, probably more information in there. I haven't bought much this month this, uh, this time but I did want to join in with the um, crochet along of Knit365 
of Martin. So I bought myself a Toff doll kit. I'm not a doll maker in crochet, Aragurui, Aragurui, Ara, Ara, the word. Um, but I did want to join in just for a bit of fun. And I, I do like Halloween, so I bought the witchy. And I've just made her and she has two legs and I'm going to make her on this afternoon. I made her nose about half the size that it was in the pattern. I felt that was a big enough nose there. I think I stopped two, oh, I started two rows further on in than, than uh, Kerry Lord had in her pattern. But I'm quite pleased with her. So that was a purchase and a whip in one. What else? I um, bought from Jeanette in the Crafty Cleggs this beautiful little needle keeper to go in my uh, sewing box, jewellery box conversion that I have. I hope you can see that. Did it come into focus? Yes, it did. A uh, little brass ferrule on it. It's empty at the moment, but I'll put, I'm going to put, um, I think I'm going to put yarn needles in it. Not, not the pointy ones. So I bought from Jeanette a little acorn that she has. Excuse me. See that and she's put progress keepers on the outside and on the inside it unscrews and she's put some stitch markers of which I've just dropped one and I just thought that was so sweet I'll have to find the stitch marker in a minute. It's lovely. And that hangs up all my progress keepers and stitch markers that I don't aren't in use. I hang up. Just a minute, I'll get it down and show you. There we go. I have a piece of chain. It's a very chunky piece of chain. And I have it hung up. all my progress keepers and stitch markers on it. I don't like the thought of them lost in bags. And I can sit and look at the sparkly ones and choose the ones I want to use in my next project that needs um, progress keeping. Uh, the other thing I've been doing this week is a bit of stitch. You may have seen I did a short the shorts are new to me, so I had a quick play. And I have a quilt hanger, a little mini quilt hanger. I'll just go and get it. It's one of these things. With the dowel that you can hang the quilt, uh, like a seasonal quilt. I bought it for Christmas. I put some buttons on each end, otherwise it slips out of the hanger. And I did a, a Christmas mini quilt, embroidered quilt, to hang up as a display. And I thought I'd like to do some seasonal ones. So I have um, lots of old tablecloths, napkins, linens. And to use them up, I cut a piece of tablecloth. It's a sort of the, the jacquard. It has leaves already in it. And I was earlier stitching this little panel, which I've now attached to the main panel. I've added a crochet daffodil. And I'm just doing feather stitch and some detached daisy chain. I'll add some beads in those ones. And I will make little sections 
and hopefully fill them up. Now, how I came about this was I made some a fork cloud. And I had it sitting on the desk and just added a few things. And I also thought, um, because I'll enjoy this quite a bit, I also did a summer one because I want to do the four seasons. I thought they'd be fun. And I've drawn a few things from those words on the thought cloud. which I'm now transferring into stitch on the tablecloth panel. I've gathered together some bits of ribbon I found in my stash. To go on and I have a little pot of buttons that are spring like. And I'm gathering together some summery ones as well. And I'll just keep adding bits until I'm happy with it. And then um, cut it to size, back it, quilt it down between each panel. And bind it, and then it can go on my little quilt hanger for a seasonal. We're still in spring. It hasn't arrived really. I had a beautiful day yesterday. You may have seen my walk with Gwynny out over the downs at the back of the house yesterday. Uh, it was so lovely just to go in the sunshine. Absolutely over the moon to get out. And today it gray, it's grey, it's cold. Um, it looks like it's going to rain again. Yeah, it makes me so sad. I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. My coffee doesn't go cold. I have a heat pad that switches on and keeps my coffee warm when I put a cup on it. Absolutely one of the best things I've ever bought. <laughs> it's, um, it's, I'm quite a slow coffee drinker, but I'm, I'm a big coffee drinker. So I like my coffee to be just right. And that saved me throwing away so many cold coffees because I forget about them. Um, I think that's about it for this week can't think of anything else. I will keep you updated with the usual progress. I hope you have a lovely Easter and if you're seeing family and friends I hope you have fun. Uh, we're very quiet here. I think in the UK today is the only day of the year that all shops have to shut um, to comply with law. It's a thing they brought in when they started opening open on Sundays. Had to keep one religious Sunday. Um, I think a lot of people see it as just a grand back holiday now. We have um, John's cooking port, pork salcombocca this evening and open wild potatoes and I'm very much looking forward to that and I'm sure the dogs will have their bit as well. Other than that I think that's all the news. Have a lovely uh, rest of your weekend and I'll see you again soon. Bye!